And that little girl was given a gift of life. But her grandma already died in the fire. And since the, she has no other known relatives, some decision has to be made. Where to place that little girl? So they had a community meeting. To answer that question. And so one person stood up, she was a teacher, and she said, I'd like to raise this child and provide her with a good education. Another person stood up, he's a farmer, and she said, he said, she ought to be raised in, in, in my farm. I'll provide her everything, nice and safe environment. Then the richest resident of that town stood up and said that he could provide all the benefits, uh, cover all the expenses, all the advantages that she would, uh, she would need. <coughs> but there was a man who stepped up forward. He was clearly in pain. He held out his burned hand and scarred hands to that little girl. And the little girl looked at him and climbed up to him and hugged him. And that little girl said, this is the man, this is the person who rescued me. I'm going to stay with him. The question is, have you looked at Christ, at Jesus, and say to him, this is the one who rescued me. God sent Moses to Egypt. He sent Jesus to the world to bore our sins in Calvary. He took them to the grave and he rose again on the third day to assure us of eternal life. He did what we needed. Some people, they would like to say, oh yes, what pastor is saying is true, but I'll just pass. Or I'll just do that later. There was a pastor who was thinking about these words in Corinthians that says, Now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And while he was thinking about this passage, he fell asleep. <laughs> and he had a dream. And he was carried into hell and sat down in the midst of the company of demons and evil spirits there. And they were discussing uh, how they might bring more souls into, into hell. And so, one of them, one of the demons there said, I will go to the, I'll go to the earth and tell men that the Bible is false. It's all fable. That it is not divinely appointed of God. Another one stood up. Because they, they were laughing at that. The other one stood up. Oh, let me go to, to earth. And I will tell the men there, men and women there, that there is no God. There is no Savior. There is no heaven. And there is no hell. And then everybody said, no, that will not do. We cannot make men believe that. But suddenly one uh, younger uh, demon arose with a wise suggestion said I will, I will go to earth in the world of men and women and tell them there is a God I'll tell them there is a savior I'll tell them it's true there is heaven I'll also tell them it's true there is hell but I'll also tell them, it's no hurry. Take your time. Yeah? 
do it tomorrow. Do it some other time. And they all clapped and sent him to earth. And you know what? That's what Satan is doing. That's what the devil is doing to many, many people. Yes, they heard the gospel. They heard that it's true. But they'll tell them, it's no hurry. Put it off tomorrow. But at the same time, the devil is also telling Christians, okay, Christians, you know it's true. All the things that you believe is true. And you know that there's a world out there. But you know what? Take your time. Today, don't witness today, okay? Discipleship, do not, do not teach others about, you know, growing in Christ. You, know? you can put it off tomorrow. In other words, if you have a priority list, put it down in your priority at the bottom. At the bottom of the priority, witnessing and discipleship. And the devil wins. The devil wins. Now Jesus sends his church out with the gospel. Will you go to a world that is dying? Tell them that he will save them too. Will you give them this life-saving gospel? Will you tell them of the only one who has the power to save? You see, Jesus not only holds his hands out to you, but through you into the world. Jesus calls you to come to him and then tells you to go to the world. Will you go? Will you go? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for speaking to our hearts today. Thank you through the example of this passage in Exodus.